This demonstration is to show you how we streak for isolation bacteria. The procedure that I'm going to be showing you is called the tea streak. It's called the tea streak because you take your petri plate that contains the culture media and on the bottom of the plate, using my wax marking pencil, I'm going to make the letter T. The area above the T is area one, the bottom right is area two, bottom left is area three. I'm going to be using a test tube a bacteria that's in a liquid called a broth and this is known as a mixed culture broth because there are several types of bacteria that I placed in the tube. You're going to start by taking your inoculating loop and sterilizing the loop, the wire, as well as the bottom part of the handle. You're going to remove the cap of the tube, put the loop into the broth, remove it, immediately put the cap back on the tube. Take the lid up off your petri plate. You will be doing the procedure holding the plate horizontally, but just to show you, I'll be holding it vertically so you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the inoculating loop and I'm going to streak it back and forth in area one, trying not to gouge the auger. When I get to the line, I'm then going to take the inoculating loop and sterilize it. I'm going to take the hot loop, touch it in area two to cool it, go into area one once, toward the bottom, pull it out, streak until you get to the line of the T. Reheat the loop. I'm going to twist the plate so you can see what I'm doing. Touch the hot loop in area three to cool it, go into the bottom of area two once, Pull it out, streak it until you get to the line. Make sure that you sterilize your loop when you're done. When I take a look at the plate, I should notice the most number of organisms in area one. In area two, there's quite an abundance of organisms, but I begin to see individual colonies. And then in area three, I should also see some individual colonies. I've just isolated the bacteria and separated them out.